keep on moving forward Always getting closer March until it's over And just like a soldier I keep on moving forward Always getting closer I'm marching till it's over And just like a soldier Right now, we're learning new details about 28-year-old Audrey Hale, who police say is responsible for this mass shooting. Well, Chief Investigative Reporter Jeremy Finley is live from Hale's home in the Belmont area. And Jeremy, this home could hold important clues in the case. Absolutely, Amanda. Right now, Brightwood Avenue is open after being closed for much of the afternoon and the evening by police. New tonight, you can look behind me and see that they have put up a large sheet of plywood. That's to cover up the hole that police blew through using flash grenades this afternoon. Tonight, we watched as police carried bags of evidence out of this house. We started with one flash grenade, thickly repeated, as police used explosives to get into the home of accused mass shooter, Audrey Hale. SWAT trucks everywhere. Uh, one had driven like right up and sort of looked like it had almost smashed into the front door. And so uh, then another, they sounded like, you know, stun grenades or percussive grenades went off. The Metro SWAT team came here after 1 o'clock this afternoon. Public record show, the home is owned by Hale's parents. Police just releasing these images tonight, saying Hale drove this Honda Fit to the school and parked, and then opened fire on the doors on the side of the school. The weapons police say Hale carried dotted with graphic stickers. Inside the car, police say they found additional written material from Hale. Police say the 28-year-old who lived in this house had a manifesto and maps of the school. Tonight, detectives pulled out several brown evidence bags from inside the house, leaving neighbors wondering, what did they find inside? That is crazy. I mean, I'm walking through here all the time, you know, out and about around here. Like, it's crazy to think about something like that could be going on right down, right down the street. Uh, Alright, we are back here live on Brightwood Avenue, the home of Audrey Hale, the accused school shooter. Uh, we do know that Metro Police said that Audrey Hale had no prior criminal history, and the two of the weapons were obtained completely. Marcus Amanda, back to you. Marcus Amanda, back to you.